everybody, Jake here with Trendspider to go over one of the charts of the day, I would say. And that one is SPY on the daily chart. And um, this is just something that, you know, I wanted to capture right now because this volume by price will change, let's say, if we go over this over the weekend. These, these levels will change. So what I wanted to do was just simply show kind of what happened uh, today. So what we had was essentially, obviously, a big gap up. But what we did was we gapped up right into this supply zone right here. So notice that there's a lot of shares kind of holding within this 280 to 274 zone. So what happens is once the price got to this supply zone, anybody that's still holding shares from initially buying the dip that just kept dipping, um, when they get back to break even, some people, not everyone, will start to say, all right, well, you know, I'm back to break even after a ridiculous move down. I'm just going to get out. And that's what you have. And this is what we call a supply zone. Or you can just call it a break even zone because essentially anybody that was holding at a loss essentially started to break even right at 275 today. So, um, you know, from the volume gap perspective, you can see that as the price started to break down, there was not a lot of shares below until we got to around 263 for the price to kind of find any type of support. Uh, this is what we call like a volume gap or an air pocket essentially in the supply and demand where you've got these very kind of strong moves and uh, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of volume. You just need to have an area where there's not a lot of volume that was previously holding. So in this case, as I mentioned, I anchored the volume by price from February 19th, which was really the main reversal candle here. And then I anchored the VWAP from this bottom, which acted as very strong support um, in the last few days before we started to move up. So that is one thing I wanted to share. The other thing that I wanted to share was the fact that we now have the ability to draw not only curved lines, but also kind of continuous lines in general. So here, if I draw this line, notice I click and the line keeps going. And notice that the line is actually curving. So let's say I want to you know, go to here, just click, and I click enter, and we lock that in. And now I can easily move this line as well, maybe to capture a little more of a symmetrical kind of cup here. And then what I can do is highlight this uh, handle looking kind of set up as well from this point press enter and I locked it in and you can see all of a sudden we kind of had a an interesting kind of cup and handle pattern forming here before finally breaking out so um, this is now possible with the polyline let's say that you're an Elliott wave person and you want to kind of do some type of wave analysis you can easily go in and just go to you know here but notice that it's curving right now. If I click enter and double click and go to smooth and turn that off, notice that these lines go back to just regular lines. So what you can do is you can go, you know, start here, here, here. Maybe this is the top of a wave that you want to highlight. And then you can go, you know, you can continue to do this. So we're not necessarily there at the, uh, the Elliott wave set up uh, as far as drawing it, but we're pretty much there. You can easily just go in and you can, you know, label this A, B, C, whatever you'd like to do. And so uh, this is something that I'm really excited about, not only just the continuous line, but the ability to draw these, these curved lines as well. So hopefully this short video helped. Hope everyone has a great rest of the week and thanks for watching.